Good morning, South Florida, and welcome, welcome, welcome to the breakfast at the Brooklyn Cafe TV. Take a deep breath and a good whiff of that coffee brewing. Grab yourself some toast, a donut, or any breakfast. Mm. As Dawn and Freddie get you up and ready for the rest of your day. So I grabbed myself and called 888-994-4995 to share a tip of the day. Or just to say good morning. So get ready for the time of your life. Shake off your sleepies, buckle up, because it's showtime. Welcome, welcome. Shut that speaker down. Can you hear us? Yes. Are we live? I, I don't know. Yes. Oh, much better. So there's something You're wrong good. with that connection. What? You're good. I'm good. Yes. I'm good. Good morning. <laughs> Happy Tuesday to you. Happy Tuesday. Anybody get caught in that traffic? Just you. Yes. Just me? Yeah, you caught it, right? Oh, an yeah. hour, almost an hour was sitting to go in a 15-minute ride. 
That's because I-95, I guess there was a bad car accident on I-95, apparently. We That's lost a, yeah, we too. some lives your microphone that you're from talking in your hands. Boynton Beach to Boca, so it was all closed down. So I guess they had to find, people had to find alternate routes to come down, military trail, I guess, power line, Congress, any which way they could get down. But everybody's using the same alternative. How many alternatives are there? That's not good because then it's not an alternative, right? How many alternatives are there? So well, I'm glad you showed up today. That was nice to have you here as I was throwing a piece of equipment away. She throws away a light that works. And she says it doesn't work. So I plugged it in. I hit it. And it says it How works. did you do that? I tried it five times. And I knew as soon as I went to throw it away, Dad was going to walk through the door. And sure enough, as it's going in the garbage bag, Dad walks in the door and goes, what are you doing? And you got it to You know, work. I used to use that line when I was dating back what, in the Dad day. Dad walked in the door? No, that you, <laughs> would, you, were thrown, you were thrown away and I brush you off and you're usable. Mm -mm. You did that to a woman? A girl? That's not nice. It, it was very nice. They took it as a compliment. And you threw her away? Not that I threw her away. Someone else. Oh, you know what they say? One man's trash. Is another one, one man's trash. food. Treasure. Exactly. Treasure. Treasure. Look who's in the house. Bailey and Milan. It's Bailey's sister. She's your youngest sister? Yes. Really? Oh, really? She looks older than you. Yeah, I'm actually <laughs> older by a couple of years. Well, yep. I mean, I mean, like, it's, it's whatever it is. So you, you are, are older, than her? older than her? Oh, yeah, by a few years. <laughs> you changed your hair. Oh, yeah. I, 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 uh, I don't know if it was short when I knew you guys. It was short, but it wasn't like that. It was like to your shoulders. Oh, yeah. Huh? No, I shaved my head and then I and then I got bored and I let it grow out and then I shaved it again. Oh, so you shave your head? Oh well, yeah, sometimes. You should shave your head. This is Bailey's sister. Yes, we got two of them now. <laughs> <laughs> Bailey, are you Bailey going, and stereo. Are you gonna work on making a superhero? Yes. I've only asked like uh, two weeks. When the time, don't worry. I I remember when the time comes. Is that what it is? Look into the camera. This one right here in the middle. Oh, oh I see it. <laughs> oh my so, how many siblings do you have? Biological siblings? Um, um, <laughs> I, I feel like that didn't read as a joke. I, I am a couple years younger. You are a couple yeah. years younger. Yeah. <laughs> I, I was joking, but I think I used the wrong tone of voice. Okay, you guys are definitely <laughs> biological sisters. You have, a bi you have a brother, too, right? Yeah, we have an older brother. Yeah. And oh, Richard yeah. is his friend? Richard yes. Richard hangs out. All right, so there's three of you plus Richard. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Got that. Richard. The kid that picks her up, it doesn't ever say he's here, and they sit in the parking lot for or an hour. Or the one that ran, uh, almost ran uh, slick over. <laughs> yes, the one that almost ran slick over. That would be the one. The one that ran slick over. Slick looked at him and says, and the guy says, what are you talking about? I missed. <laughs> 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 I thought that was a great comeback. <laughs> Happy Tuesday. So this is Sam. He's joining us again. He's back to stay. So welcome yep. back. Thank you. Projects Sam. to go. Things to do. Sam Prada. Record heat wave through the U.S. and Europe. That's because there's no global warming. Because there's no global warming. They're going to wait until all the water evaporates and this says, you see, there might have been something to that global warming. No global warming. London Heathrow Airport, 103.5 degrees today. Highest in history. Now I got to tell you, I got to ask. In London, they painted in the ring. They in painted London. the rail London. tracks London. white. London. 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 Do you remember that from Friends? In London. In London? Where you, you focus? <laughs> it's Katie. They painted... No, she's back to Texas. <laughs> so they, wow. Okay. So okay. they paint the train okay. tracks white. Why? Does that do anything? Okay. Does it like This spark? is the question. Is it going on fire? The train the tracks train? is so hot. They go up to 150 degrees that they buckle. Oh, they're bending from the heat? So you can't ride a train on a buckle train track, right? So they, they paint, paint them, white? them white with some kind of tarp. Yeah, they look gray. What does that do? We'll Absorb the heat. No, it oh. does the opposite. White <laughs> distracts the heat. <laughs> yeah, white, white uh, paint usually reflects light. That's what they're doing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See, he goes to school for this stuff. That's why he goes to school. We so should go to school. I just don't understand it. If you knew that you should have painted them white to begin with. Because, you know, they don't have any air conditioning in London. Did you notice? They never had, this was never an issue before. They don't? They, they, don't. Don't. they don't. Because it's always cold and muggy there. It's like when I went to Switzerland, the sun never came out. I, I said to people, told people me that. like mole people, people with Switzerland, their eyes grow this big because there's no sunlight. And same thing with the UK. 
I have a question. Can Prince Harry run for a political office in the United States no. even though he is not no. U.S. born? No, he cannot. You have you to have be to born be in the U.S. Born. to run for any office? Yes. Uh, uh, no, yeah, not any office. I didn't say president. Any president office. President, you do. No, not any president office. you do, but I don't think... Uh, Congressperson, you know. Yeah. I just realized... my words, it's coming. I like the added prop of the candle. I just <laughs> noticed that now. and I. It's, it's coming. He's going to run for political office. Who? Prince Harry. Prince Harry. I'm not voting for him. Okay, I feel Does like he may not run for office in Florida, <laughs> but he's going to run for some political office. He lives in Canada. He lives in no, he British doesn't. He lives in New York. Little Festivus action. Why would you vote for him? He lived in British he's the least guy I would ever vote for. Why would you vote for Arnold Schwarzenegger? Why would we vote for Ronald Reagan? Why would we vote for all of these stars? Because something's better than what we got. No, Ronald Reagan wasn't a bad president. I gotta Maybe he I hated and him. Meghan Markle are no, exactly what we need because they know... Robert about inclusion, no, they no, know about no, bringing people no, together. No, 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 Why? No, no, you don't know. No. Yes, do. Why? Freddie knows. And he ain't the one. He's a. Can you imagine having a royal? No. In you our see, government? You're, you're getting caught up in this royal. You're going to send this guy well, into the Well, he's no longer government? considered a royal. Our government is nothing more than a giant blender. You go so in there and you come out. It. Your hair turns white. You start working fragments as if you only knew what I know, you wouldn't sleep at night. Come on, he you're knows put what him he that? knows from England. Look at you and rhyming. And we and we broke away and now maybe he can help fix fix the situation. Can't fix nothing. Obama went in there when the country needed somebody to lean on. Trump went in there when we got it had to get back on track. What's happening right now is not a one man deal. It's not a one man you know, the president of the United States it's the, it's the leader in terms of the armies. But that isn't where the problem is. The problem is in Congress. Problem it's in Congress. It's a, it's a big problem all the way around. But We don't put money back in this country. We don't buy. What do we make? Tell me one product in this room that we make in this country. Tell me. I'll wait. Hmm. Happiness. No, we don't ah, do that either. Ding, 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 no, ding, ding, we don't do that either. What product do we make in the United States? We don't make pencils here. We don't um, make pens. I, I wouldn't know. Long. We could check the stickers. Check. It's either Korea, China, Mexico, Canada. We don't make. You know what we make? The American soldier. The American soldier. And we make bullets. And we make tanks. That's what we make. We make secret weapons in this country. We don't make ashtrays no Katie, more. Katie, positivity, please. I am being positive. You are not being positive. I am. We I have to. I talk speak about for Bree here. We got to talk about the problems. I think well, I need to. Well, I no problems. I get makes me go. <laughs> but why, okay, Freddie? All right, positivity. We're bringing positivity. it back to go. calming, happy thoughts. Thank you, Katie. Hashtag, hashtag stress less and decompress with Katie on Thursdays at four. <laughs> Bam. That's Anyways, such a shameless. Stress less and decompress with Katie. Shameless. So if you ever need to stress less, tune in. Please. You are going to talk about stress. I'm going to go to your show this Thursday. You're going to go to my show. It's right here. I'm going to be there. <laughs> That would mean you're going to be here. I'm going to be there. You're going to you be question. front row. You're going to be front row. I want to listen to everything you have to say. All right. <laughs> so apparently, because of the heat, they are now giving people instructions on how to wash your underarms to alleviate the smell. Oh. Do you know what people, the smell is? I guess is? bacteria. It's bacteria, but do you know what the smell is? Why is the bacteria smelly, like in your toes? Nature. Bacteria mixed in your with your button. sweat. Why? I'm pretty sure there's urea like mixed in your sweat, which is like the same stuff in your pee. Yeah, it's Why like does waste. your pee smell? That's a good point. It's like waste. You have a bacteria on your body that is working on the skin. This is and it poops. Ew! This is so gross. And that's why sweat smells. Because well, your sweat is like your skin poops. Good morning, Kara. Oh, your Kara's here. Bacteria poops. Anyways, anyway, going back they to they a now happy telling people how to clean their underarms because you need to. Not all soaps, not people are doing the right things. So, antibacterial soap. They even say you can use tea tree oil, wipe your underarms after you shower, deodorant, all those things. Antibacterial situations. Not only your underarms, but your hair. When you hair. sweat a lot, mm -hmm. your hair stinks. Yeah. It does? Yes. That's why women are always smelling. And they have a morning. Yeah, you can turn Hi. on that light. I turn it off to say, boy. Uh, okay, sorry. It's, it's okay. okay. Apparently, um, we're saving. You want to you join? I'm trying to save a watt or two. I say, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm good, sorry. Okay. Um, so you have to also watch your hair. The oils in your hair have the same bacteria. And you ever stand next to somebody? Do you wash your hair every day? What hair? My head? <laughs> yes, every day. I'm going to shave it. I think I know what the sign is. I'm going to do that military Save my thing. shampoo. She's the sign. She shaves hers. I'm going to shave my head. Yeah, what made you shave your head, Milan? I don't know. 
<laughs> I kind of just, uh, I, I don't know. I think I was in like early, early high school and, and I really, I used to have like really long hair and my mom liked it and I didn't. So then I said, I'm going to cut it or you're going to take me somewhere. And then she uh, did. And then from then on, I was like, nah, I want to do it myself. So then I just kind of went at it over the bathroom sink with scissors. Uh, I didn't have a reason. I just thought it looked cool. You regret it after you did it? No. Okay. Yes, you like. You gonna shave your head? Hopefully not. You gonna you're gonna get a haircut? Maybe soon. You need a haircut. It's getting pretty long. Yeah. Pretty long. It's covering your eyes. Suppressing. Yeah, so What's he suppressing? Way. Tell us, Doctor Freud. What, what is are you doing back there? <laughs> She's labeling. I see blue tape. I see situations going on back there. What's no the situations. situations? You don't need to worry about it. It's all good. <laughs> Everything <laughs> if it works, here. it works. <laughs> now, I'm do you finding think, objects. Do you think that the kids nowadays, they, they have, like, different ways of telling you things that they don't want anybody to know, but they want you to know? Like coloring their hair or tattoo. You mean to express their individuality? Well, okay, we can call it that. Or maybe they have something that they're not happy about. And they are what are you trying to say? I personally <laughs> it looks What are you cool, implying? <laughs> I'm just asking. I mean, okay, so you, what tattoo is that? Is that a, a bug or is that oh. like a chain? Uh, it's a centipede. It's a centipede. It's a centipede. centipede. Uh, I got like a fish here, I think, or a fish skeleton. Fish and Oh, a fish bone. Oh, fish What's skeleton. that, a ladybug? A spider. No. You like the lines. Um, This is like the biohazard symbol. Uh, I, it was, I was in a shop and a guy said he was doing free tattoos and I was like, okay. And then um, he said, what do you want? It has to be something small. So I just said the biohazard symbol. So this one was actually free. Oh, that was pretty cool. Why um, the centipede of all animals? Well, I saw a centipede once and I really liked it. Stick so it I drew it and I asked an artist to tattoo it onto my arm. You drew that. Oh, uh, yeah, I actually designed all my tattoos. I got a cool one here. It's a longer centipede, but it's got, like, a doll head on it. Whose head is that, yours? Uh, no, it's just the doll head, but we happen to both have black hair, so that's pretty cool. She likes centipedes all over her You know who you, who that remi what that reminds me of? Remember? Oh, my gosh. It was that. <laughs> what is she doing? She's, she's giving her a note of some sort. What's that say? Stress less than decompressing. Stress less than decompressing, Katie. Thursdays at 4. Thursdays at 4. What was Not the movie something. with Jim Burton, Tim Burton, and it was Be Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice. Yeah, Beetlejuice. She looks like the girl from Beetlejuice, the head. Lydia? Like yes. Me or my tattoo? Your tattoo. Oh, maybe. I don't know. Can I, I see just again? designed a doll head with piercings. She Doesn't she look like Lydia? I think she looks like Lydia. I thank wouldn't you. know, but thank you. I kind of agree. I think. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Where my brain goes. Sam, you agree about anything. <laughs> <laughs> I it does, right? your hands over your eyes, you can't see And that. even with the centipede, it kind of just like a whole Lydia yeah, kind of look. Oh, maybe. <laughs> Watch how my brain works. You know, Beetlejuice, Tim Burton, Lydia, the girl. I do a brain map on my head. Or not. Happy <laughs> Tuesday to you. I anyway. feel so sorry for you today. <laughs> but you got a tattoo. Did you do it to express <laughs> what? Because there was something wrong with you? or? For the ninth time, I've shown you this many times. No, you never showed me that before. I have a tattoo. I um I put a a, a leopard's face mask on my arm. I did a deal in Tampa, <laughs> and I was drunk at four o'clock in the morning, and we stopped at a tattoo place. Morning and announcements. And the kid had just sorry, had little just interruption. Opened. I'm just gonna. And um, I got it done. But I didn't. It didn't at four p.m. today. Me. It still We're going to interview Milan about her drawing stand on the twelve o'clock show. Yes, we are. So she's gonna hang out with us for a little bit. Inside out at four p.m. today. <laughs> <laughs> Katie, have you had breakfast yet? <laughs> sort of. Sort of. Probably not. <laughs> sort of. Not much. Katie, More to people come. are writing in that perhaps you need to decompress. I know. Cece is watching. Cece, you're supposed to call us. I thought Cece was going to do a VMix call with us. Update of where you are and what you're doing. I we thought Cece was doing a VMix call we'll with us. We'll send you the information. I'll text you the information. I want you to call in this afternoon. That would be great. I would like that. That would be kind of cool. Last night there was a great show. We did tell us your biz. Yes, we At did. At Oldies 95.3. Why, why is she breaking herself in half? <laughs> what oh, the hell was that? I saw that. It runs in the family. It, what can I say? It runs in the family. If you want to be the exorcist, please do it in the lobby. <laughs> She's trying to hold back. All my back. ligaments are really stretched out because I did a lot of sports. 
<laughs> Anyways. Okay. <laughs> oh, when I was a kid, it wasn't by choice, though. And here we go. And here we go. Anyway, in China, they found uh, the fossils, the footprints of an enormous dinosaur. Really? So you wonder, like, why have they not found this for all these years before? Because it was a farm, and it was buried under layers and layers of dirt. And then a restaurant bought the farmland, cleared it off, and they thought the uneven pavement was kind of cool, so they left it until a visitor came and realized these are actually dinosaur footprints. And they came, and they marked it off. Wow. When the details of this, it's so fascinating. Why, it so was. What happened to the restaurant? <laughs> the restaurant is no there, more. and they blacked it off. It's in Lishan. Lishan, Sichuan province of China. Two I mean sauropods is a type of dinosaur during the Cretaceous period. Cretaceous period? You go to school, I don't go to school anymore. Yeah, there's, there were, I think, yeah. six periods during the like dinosaur era, and one of them was the uh, Cretaceous period, which was the longest period. How do you know that? I feel like guys always know a lot about I dinosaurs. When I was <laughs> little, yeah, when I was little, I loved dinosaurs. So From the Cretaceous period, well, not wrong. Twenty-six feet in length. It's how big? One of the largest dinosaurs ever to walk this earth. And they just found them now. They just found the footprints of two sauropods. I wouldn't know how much money footprint? they made. Sauropod is the type of dinosaur, dinosaur yeah. during the Cretaceous period. Twenty-eight meters. I'm sorry, eight meters, twenty-six feet in body length. Think how big that is. Enormous, big. right? And their weight was so heavy, they said the earth had to shake when they would walk and step. And they've got these major, massive footprints that have now been uncovered when the restaurant cleared off all the dirt. It's kind of cool. History in the making. It's like when you go to Israel, you never refute what you see there. There were dinosaurs there too. History. But think about all the dinosaurs that were in China. And now look at all the iguanas that are here. One day in <laughs> history. What the hell are you drinking? Coffee. All right. Moving on. Ready to go to commercial break? No. Okay. Right, yeah. <laughs> you want to mention this? Yeah, but you cannot. This is definitely a dawn thing to read on. Why? Period. How to please a woman comes much more gracious out of my mouth than <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I <see>. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I saw that yesterday. I that would be why. I saw a post on it yesterday. Now, did you hear what she said? <laughs> I can go in so many directions. With what she just said. Go. Yeah. An event yeah, happening this nice. Thursday Foot night. In mouth. Ladies' night party oh. and screening How to Please a Woman at the Movies of Boca. And actually, the clinical sexologist, Dr. Stacy Friedman, she messaged you yesterday. I told her to come on the set. Now, the funny thing is that I was going to ask to put our, um, uh, our, our new show that we're trying to do with Lori on there. It's called Date and Bite or something. I don't even remember the name of it. Okay. And she can't because it's sold out. Not that it's sold out, but the deck is sold. The party so starts at 6.30. She's doing the second one. All Not male burlesque review. Yeah, I don't get Angel that. Angel Secrets <laughs> lingerie. I don't get that either. Say yes to sexy. I don't get the, the male burlesque. How does that please a woman? If he's good looking, I guess they want to see. What do they want to say? Minds want to know. What do they want to know? I guess. Why do men go to women's dance halls? The men go to strip joints. They okay. don't go to women's dance halls. Same situation. But it isn't please a man. The man goes... For what? To spend money, really. Really? Really. You could spend money on my electric bill. Oh! No, because they're going to show them something for every time <laughs> for the money. <laughs> what are you going to... Yeah, you get lights for paying the electric bill. Is that... Just to spend money. Well, you do that in a business. So there has to be some pleasure gain from looking at women in a strip club. There a is dance pleasure. Club. We get to laugh. We say, okay, here's a dollar. So same situation here. Yeah, but it's twelve dollars. It says to how to movie. please a woman. That's the name of the movie. <laughs> how to please a woman and kick a off the Palm Beach County theatrical premiere engagement of I say How to more. Please a Woman. This is the name of a movie. Pleasure is a serious business, it says. So when you ladies look at that flyer, what's the first thing that comes to your mind? I don't think you should be asking us this. I want to know. This Sexy. is okay. just flyer? strange. Yeah. How to please a woman flyer. I don't like her hair. It's cool, but like, I don't know. It, it's just like first weird looking. Comes to my mind, Haley. I mean, I go off. I, I think she can, she can pull that cut, but it, it's not for me. 
And and the guy is in a funny position. It makes me laugh. Well, this is showing the millennial mind at work. And you, what is mm -hmm. that you? What's it? Um. Always a good answer. Next. <laughs> It's an interesting play hey, on it, everything. What do you, when you see that flight, what do you use? <laughs> what is this for? This is like a movie it's a movie. Thing? Movies of Delray, movies of Lake Worth. It's a movie. They're going to play uh, a pre-show a pre to the movie. And she came up with How to Please a Woman because I guess oh, she wants to attract like women to the audience. And they're going to have a male burlesque, which makes no sense to me. It's just a women's event to have people come out and have some fun on this hot, sultry night. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're missing the whole thing. It's hotter in Texas. What do you think it is? It's okay. hotter in Houston. Yeah, well, so what do you think right it is? It's hotter Sam in Houston. Explain, it's a 17-year-old. I'll explain it to you later. <laughs> That's rude. What was that movie? <laughs> Fast Times at Ridgemont High, Time Last American break. Virgin, all those. Yeah. They don't know any of those movies. They're like two generations after those movies. Uh -huh. Different time, different millennials, different everything. Now they're into more self-expression. No, they're into like Donkey Kong and stuff. Do you know what year Donkey Kong came out? 1981. How do you know that? I know that. She knows a lot of just random trivia. You guys know a lot of yeah, random trivia. I don't. I'm, I'm, I'm like relatively stupid, but I, I hang out. Really? No, no, don't say that. <laughs> oh, no, I say with confidence. She's confident oh. and she's stupid. You're confidently stupid. I'm yeah. stupid too, but I'm stupid in a funny way. I think you <laughs> like skeletons and bones. Look at her fish skeleton necklace. Oh, it yeah. It goes with your what's on your arm. Which one? On your left arm. This arm? It's, it looks like the same. Oh. The, other, the other left. That is true. Did you do that on purpose? Um, well, I got a tattoo of a fish skeleton. And because I like fish skeletons, I got a necklace off the internet for like... Um, like four dollars, and and it was a fish skeleton because I like fish skeletons, and yeah. It was such a nice shirt. I know. You guys like fish skeletons? I like fish. I thought I thought Boots had the most strange likings. Why? Because she's just her her karma, the way she acts. You know, she has that whole thing going on. I gotta ask Black you guys a question. You know, they're right now they're in this trial for Parkland. Yes, he saw. admitted guilt, yeah. right? So we know he said he did it, and he did it. Yeah. This is not questionable. Now they're talking about months and months of trial. Years. Of whether he gets life in jail or the death penalty. Correct. Oh. Here's my question. What could each side present that would make someone choose one over another? Like, do you... I'm going to ask you because you were there. I was Would one way one way or another? I was talking to my mom about this yesterday because I didn't watch the trial personally. It was just me and my friends kind of. We went to the mall. We went to Boca Mall right here, and like we kind of ate and like just tried to like not. But um, we were kind of. I feel like everyone's, most people have been more on the side of. He kind of needs to rot. He needs to go to prison, and he needs to get um karma yeah, from well, the whatever other prisoners, happens in I'd prison yeah. um most people feel like the death penalty is too easy honestly i don't even know if i believe in the death penalty personally at all but i think that for 17 people just to kill him once he's gonna get he's gonna get killed once so it's like i don't feel like it makes up for the amount of people that he did kill himself so why do you think they need a trial to sway the jury one way or another? So death penalty means they all have to agree. Yeah. Yeah, so, so I can't imagine one. what evidence needs to get presented. And I really don't know that would sway them either all for the death penalty or he gets life in jail. It's clear cut. A lot of it, a lot of like, uh, my friend Alex watched the trial, so she kind of told us a little bit. But it was like... They were bringing in like our teachers who were kind of like involved in the building. They were bringing in students that had videos and had like text messages of them like being inside of there. So those are mostly the like accounts that they're taking to prosecute him. But if you can prove that he planned this massacre, then he gets a death penalty. But you have to prove it that he planned it. 
step by step by step so they're bringing in all of these people all of the Facebook everything that he's written about for years and years and the reason that you do this is because if he's sick mentally when he did this and he didn't plan it just like the guy that shot Reagan who is now out he is no longer mentally a danger to society. So if this kid is ever cured of this, he gets out. Now, you were there, the parents that are there, they don't want to hear that because they're angry right now. They want revenge. The death penalty is not about revenge, allegedly. Do you think you can rehab if he gets life in prison? And he's a good, upstanding he doesn't parole. They prisoner. Said never, there will, they never, will never be never parole. parole never. So then he can never, <laughs> never get out. Uh -uh. Never get out. So why not just... I think they're going to kill him in there anyways. Exactly. He's, I don't not, he's in the last 20 seconds. Because there's street justice. But one of the things like we don't see with the Nicholas Cruz case was that the school tried a little bit, but ultimately like the school system kind of failed him when he was acting out in high school because i was uh i think i was in eighth grade when he was did you meet this kid i actually did um he worked at a dollar store near my house and so of course like we didn't know but we would always talk to him when we went to the dollar was he store normal when you talked to him no <laughs> But there's yeah, the nah, he was kind of he was a little creepy like hitting on us and stuff but oh gross when we found out it was that guy we were like so, no way so that's the problem you have to be able to prove that now you saw the cop that was there who hit behind a pillar is now on trial yeah i hope he goes down and he's going he's going down and it's it's a shame because if you see what's happening in texas um, where there were some cops that wanted to go in. One cop had this guy in his sights and asked for permission to shoot, and they said no. Wasn't that the teacher's husband? No, this was a cop. The teacher's husband. It was a cop cops. too, right? It was a cop, and there was a teacher's husband. But the first guy, when he crashed the truck, had him in the sights. And there's all sorts of video now coming forward when him entering the building. So that's planned. There's so many sides to this because you think this whole trial is bringing up so many more traumatic thoughts, right? It's bringing it all back up for Anger everyone. Is what is bringing it up. But is it also helping? But then the other side is: does it help you process it and come to terms with with closure? There's a whole, there's a, many dimensions to all of them. Ultimately, apparently, this judge has the final say. Well, the bottom line is the jury's going to have the final say. But the bottom line here is that if it's your kid that got killed. That's one set of closure. Yep. Uh, if you have a daughter or a son that was involved in that thing, that's another set of closure. It's many layers on that one. And if you were a cop who has a kid, that's another sense. Of, there's so many psychological things that are going on right now. What they're trying to do is that they're trying to spread this like peanut butter so that they can cover all the different emotions that are affected by it. I gotta tell you, listen, I was, I was in the auxiliary for three and a half years. Uh, and I know that side of being a cop. I know it. And there are cops, and then there are cops. Just like there are teachers, and there are teachers. Some cops run into the fire. The military guys do that. They run into the direction of the bullet. And then you got other cops that say, wait a minute. I got a kid at home. You know, I got a life. I ain't going in that direction. I'm going in this direction. I'm going to wait for people to show up to go in there. And you got to understand there's two sides to every story. There's actually three, because the third one is the truth. And people are scared, man. You got a kid in there shooting at you, you're gonna have to have big ones to run in there and take them out. And there was no G.I. Joe that day in Texas. And there was no G.I. Joe down in Parkland. What'd your mom think? Um, my mom, like, <laughs> I was kinda like, oh, like, child day. And she was like, oh no, like, this is still going. And I was like, yeah, cause they like started it yes. a few months ago. Yeah. Uh, now I was jury, going on a trip. Going on. How do you, you know, my biggest concern is you. I can care less what happens in Miami. Because no matter what they come up with, there's never going to be a closure on this deal. That day, and then he picked, what, Valentine's Day? Forget about it. He, he's marked a scar in this country for the rest of the world yep. to see. But how do you feel? You know, sometimes the kids that were left behind are the ones that we forget. Because you have to grow up, and your way of thinking is the way that the norm is going to be. How do you feel? Um, 
it's something you have to live with. It happened, and Katie, it it can't unhappen. <laughs> so it's just good that I get to come back here and be with all my friends and support them, yeah. and they support me. So obviously, I don't feel like happy about anything that's going down, but I am glad that it's starting and we're starting to maybe do something. How many kids you hang out with in the school? Like my friends from high school. Um, I have a pretty good amount of friends that I still talk bring, to from we high bring school. Them in. We've talked about doing that, and also the a nice show. I don't want to do a show. I think the scar is still there, especially with what's going on. Right? But maybe just to, you know, to chill out and listen to some music and just fill the house. Um, and it won't give everybody closure, but maybe it'll give them a minute of smiles for a minute because it must really be tough to be, to be you, and dumb. It must really, really be tough. And I don't know. I and I, I tell God, don't ever put me in that position to go, because like that mother said in Texas, you ain't gonna go. Give me a gun. Give me a rifle. Give me a shield, and I will go. And I guarantee you that the whole of those 17 parents would have ran in there. They would have ran in there, guaranteed. I know I would have. People want to know, what are they doing to protect kids now? You're still in high school. Mm -hmm. I'm sure your parents are like, okay, what security parameters are there for my yeah. kids in school? Like, um, was it my brother, who he, he now is a junior in uh, college. Uh, at one point, uh, do you guys remember the airport for Lauderdale shooting? Yeah. My brother was in that. And so, like, my parents ever since have been, like, very, like, careful with, like, how it is, like, at our school and stuff like that. Like, um, schools have been taking, like, different levels of measures. Like, our school recently got a new building, which has, like, a lockdown feature. Yeah, the now. door is electrically locked. Yeah. And like the all the gates, like you you will literally have to bust it down to go inside the building, and like now like a bunch of like buildings around my school are being like rebuilt to have those features, you know, and it's like it's great that those things are like being put in place, but part of it is like, you know, like I wish we didn't have to do that, you know, well, I wish I didn't have to see that there's like so much security because yeah. then that that also puts like a, a psychological mind. impact in you and like okay like if that happens like I what do i do and the other problem is football yeah. games baseball games soccer games how do you stop crowds coming out um even baseball right now is talking about security mm -hmm. measures i gotta tell you the, the 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 funny thing not the funny thing the sad thing about all of this stuff is that they don't have an answer to this problem oh there's an answer i do What's your, answer? What's your answer? Ban assault weapons. Yeah. There you go. But That's then, the answer. But then they go to another gun. They go yeah, to shotgun. They go to handguns. They go to... It's not an assault it's weapon, it's though. That's one that's like... All right, let's assume assault... Bullets bullets everywhere. Let's assume there's assault guns that are banned. No more assault guns, all right? You can't buy an assault gun. I mean, no, you can't get an assault gun. It just means you can't buy an assault gun. So, like the guy in Japan, he made his own gun and shot that guy in the street. Yeah. But if it, you make it a little less available or a lot, like, mm -hmm. look at Gabby Giffords. I mean, she shot in the premiere of, what was it, Batman? And look what, look how far she's come to ban assault rifles. Well, the bottom and line, weapons. and if I'm If we can say get some of them, if you can get a lot off, can you get them all off? No, but if you can Over help, and over again, I told I agree you this. With you. At in, in The other day was just shooting Good in the- Good morning. Who was that man? <laughs> Where'd you be? Where'd the go? overalls? Where'd your glasses go, Josh? He looks like Donkey Kong. Guy. <laughs> <laughs> Luigi. Luigi. He said he was gonna wear overalls Luigi. tomorrow, today, and I was so like, "Fair enough." I'm gonna tell you what I've been saying from Jump Street. You saw that the, the mall. There was a guy that came out with a rifle, started shooting, killed three people, and the bystander took out his 45 and killed them. Put the hands in good people's, put the guns in good people's hands. I still believe that if those teachers in Texas were loaded, if they were strapped, they would have taken this kid out. I'm sorry, I just believe that. They might have. But again, if we had banned assault weapons, it wouldn't have happened. Do you think that this kid is not going to get his hands on a different type of gun? It's going to be harder. A lot really? Yeah. Honey, I can go to Miami right now and I can pick up any weapon you want on the street. Exactly. It is there. <laughs> Anybody could. 
If you are ill-intentioned and you have money... You think a 17-year-old kid is going to be able to go get a weapon in Miami off of the streets? Yeah. An assault yes. weapon? Yeah. Probably. Yeah. 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 Samuel, you're 17. You think it's hard for a 17-year-old to get a weapon? No. The problem is not a the lot, weapon. The problem is how you get the weapon. Yeah. A lot of kids like usually just get it from their parents and stuff like that. And how, and how are they getting it? Exactly. There is no sprinkle dust on this one. You know something? You got to meet hate with hate at certain times. I'm not saying... I'm just saying if we arm the good people, give teachers a chance. We go to the movies and something happens. Anybody here strapped? What are you going to learn to tuck and roll? What is that fire thing you do? What is it? You tuck and roll? Drop. Stop dropping roll. You think that's going to stop a maniac? Throw a boot at him? And what? And he'll shoot the boot, the hand, and you. The bottom line here is that there's no nice answer. And every time I look over my shoulder, that door opens. Hi there. How are you? It scares the hell out of me. Hi, Jenna. That's not Jenna. That's not Jenna? Through Studio A to your left. Now, she just, I have to go change my underwear. Because <laughs> she just locked the door when she came in. Do you know who that is? No. I didn't I don't see anything. She know who do. Yeah. I have no idea. Welcome to my. But we just let her in to walk through the studio and go to the bathroom. All right, we have to go. <coughs> <laughs> On that note. <laughs> we have no idea who that is. Commercial or done? I guess we're, we're going to wrap it up. It must be for Fuego. Okay. I don't not know. Okay, I got to fix right. the speaker for Fuego. Yes, we're going to have Josh help us with this one. <laughs> More on the conversation to continue on our midday show, everyone. We've got, are we changing, are we keeping the name on this show? Movie Wars? Nice Where are we nice shooting piece. that out there? Yeah. Movie Wars coming up. we got Fuego, I think, in the house. We've got a lead-up reboot of the podcast. We've got Inside Out with Haley and our midday show. We've got a whole lot going on today. A lot of stuff. Have a great day, everyone. A great morning. Let us know what's happening in your area. See you in a little bit. Don't be late. Bye-bye. Thank you, thank you, thank you for listening to The Morning Show. As I go now to fill my mug, which is completely empty, I'm coffee out. Your cup runneth over. No, company dry. <laughs> Have a great morning, everyone. Stay safe, be kind to each other. Tune in for all of our other morning shows coming from Ant Media Productions and then our afternoon show at 12 o'clock. And always join us for more fun and laughs because, you know, the day starts when you smile. Have a great morning, and we'll see you in a little bit. And don't be late.